Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time I will focus more on painting and weathering rather than assembly because this 3D printed Panzer II comes only in two pieces, the main body and the turret. However, there is still some work to be done with removing all the supports and doing some cleanup after. I 3D printed this model on Creality Hallowed Mage Pro 3D printer that was kindly sent to me by Creality. I have tested this printer for over a week. It was running almost 24-7 and had zero print fails except for one where the file was uh, corrupted on my flash drive. Anyway, first I did small test prints as usual and then I printed a few smaller bits that I got from Anish models, including these cool avionic connectors in various sizes. You can get them from Anish models website, buy STL files for 3D printing or just order ready resin products. Halot Mage Pro have a 10 inch screen so the best way to use it is to print something bigger. I downloaded Panzer 2 that I will be working on and a few other kits from Aladdin models. It's a subscription based website where you can find a lot of uh, really good quality models to choose from. Uh, tanks, planes, helicopters, cars and other stuff. And if you are looking for something specific that, uh, for example, no model manufacturer uh, released yet, you can make us suggestions for their next projects. The monthly subscription is $25 and there is no download limit. Also, Aladdin Models is run by one of the members from my Patreon page and he provided me with a $10 discount code for you guys. The code is valid till the end of 2023. I left the links to Aladdin model website and 3D printer in description and pinned comment, so go and have a look. It will help my channel a lot.
Okay guys, this build is done and it took me about a week to finish. Uh, it's not perfect because I rushed the project a bit in order to start the airfix seeking and hopefully I will finish it uh, before Telford model show. Just before I go, I just wanted to mention one feature of the Hallowed Mage Pro 3D printer that I missed at the beginning of the video, the resin pump. Pumping out the resin uh, to the bottle instead of removing the whole vat is so easier and less messy than with the other printers. I think this should be a standard feature in all 3D printers from now on. I saw a couple YouTubers moaning and having a problem with this because the nozzle can't suck all the resin in. So here's a pro tip, just use a tool provided with the printer to move the resin towards the nozzle and you can tilt the whole printer a little bit as well. At the end just flush it with IPA, wipe the vat with a kitchen towel and job is done. Much easier than removing the whole vat. Guys, thank you very much for watching and don't forget about the discount code for Aladdin. See you on the next one.